Okay, so I think uh, some of you may have heard about this product, right? Called the Hand 386. Okay, so uh, this is actually a brand new uh, 386 system. Okay, so uh, I think some of you may not know what 386 is. It's even possible that 386 is even older than some of you also. <laughs> okay, yeah, the 386 processor is also older than me. Yeah, so this particular system, right? Uh, I first saw it on Tom's Hardware, this, this website here. Okay, and then uh, of course I was curious, lah, what is this about? Lah? Okay, then uh, apparently it is sold on AliExpress, it's a new system. So the left one is the one I bought. Okay, so this system actually is sold together with another system called Book 808. Lah. It's based on Intel 808. I did not buy the second one, I only bought the N386. Okay, so apparently it sold out very quickly. Within one day, everything was sold out already. So very popular. So lucky I managed to step it up in time. This, this particular device. Lah. Okay. So what did I get? Okay, so I bought the system. Okay, I think she can pass it around. Yeah, you can pass it around. I have actually another unit. Lah. So it's a story. Lah. Yeah. You can just, yeah, you can pass that. So I have one here and then yeah, you can it's running. The one is running Windows 3.1 right now. Okay, so what did I get? I got the system as well as a two gigabyte compact flash card. And then uh, there's also a breakout board. So actually there's a VGA output as a PS2 output. Okay, it comes with a charger. And then it also comes with the ISA backplane. So you can actually connect ISA cards like what you can see here. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what exactly is this 386? Okay, so 386 is a, okay, it's a very old processor. <laughs> okay, released in 1985. So what's so special? It is the first 32-bit CPU of the x86 architecture. Okay, so before that it was 60-bit. So today we have 64-bit, right? But yeah, this is the first 32-bit. Okay, because of that, it can handle flat virtual memory up to four gigabytes. Okay, and then it is one of the earliest. It, uh, it is the earliest x86 CPU with virtualization, so it can virtualize, uh, 8086 in a086 mode. So that means you can run multiple uh, like uh DOS applications. 386 comes in uh two types. One of them is called a DX processor, which is the original one, and then another one is the SX processor. So this this one is the cheaper version. It has only 16-bit data bus, which is actually the one that's used inside the, this hand trade six. Okay, so uh, it comes with some external ports, I like can see. La. So, okay, so on the left side, right, you can see the breakout board here. Then it has an 8-bit ISA breakout. Okay, so this ISA breakout connects over a ribbon cable. Then you can connect, connect the ISA backplane. Okay, and then on the, the other side, right, we have the CF card, combat flash card. And see, I have to put a, a, a label here, right? Because it's very hard to remove the, the combat flash card. Right? It's a USB port, right? but this USB port is only for flash drives, not for any other purpose. Okay, so there is a, this a particular I tear down that I did. Okay, so they on the this picture, right, is what they actually provided. Right? So this is what I took. Right? Okay, so you can see that uh, it has, it uses a, not an original Intel processor. It uses an SOC. Okay, but we have the 386SX compatible core. Then it has, it has a graphics chip, 8 megabytes of RAM, okay? And it has an original Yamaha OPL3 chip. So from those of that era, right, this is actually the common way that computers use to generate sound using a Yamaha chip. This is what I use in the AdLib sound card also. Okay, so in, in the past, they use MIDI soundtracks played through this particular chip. And then it has uh, this uh, 2,500 mAh battery, yeah. Okay, so there's, this is a tear down on the front. So this is the USB chip that they use to talk to the ISA bus. Okay, then on the other side, also there's also a digital to analog converter. This is to, it receives the output from the Yamaha chip to the speakers. Okay, for the keyboard and the LCD, so the, this is a, they're using an LCD display driver. So this one takes the output, the VGA output from the graphics chip and pipes it to the LCD screen. And it also has a keyboard controller here. So this keyboard controller is based on an old Intel chip. 8042 used in IBM AT. So this is a PS2 keyboard controller chip. And uh, the, the way that the, this display board connects to the LCD screen is through a flex cable. So there's a concern for this uh, because this flex cable is bent. Okay, right now it looks like it's, uh, it's not so bent, right? But when you close the enclosure, right? This thing is bent quite badly. So there's a risk that it might fail in the long term. Okay. 
Then for the LCD screen, there is a, it's an initial issue. Lah. So uh, by default, you display 640 by 480. So actually, this part is cut off. So there is a way to, there's a, there's a tool lah, that can be downloaded to force it into the native 720 by 400 or 70 hertz. This is used by DOS. And you can see this part is not cut off anymore. This is the correct one. Okay, for the ISA backplane, so this one, uh, the, the SOC supports 16 bit ISA, but only 8 bit is brought out. So the ribbon cable is connected. Okay, you can't really see here, but the ribbon cable is here. Okay, then it connects to the board. And then there's three ISA, ISA slots. Okay, so these three ISA slots I populate with a network card with a clone of a Sound Blaster 2 sound card called a Blaster Board, as well as an RTC, a real time clock. It's because the onboard RTC of this system is quite bad. It loses one minute every hour. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I put my own RTC there. there. Okay, so I will do a short demo. So I will show two demos, one under the ChatGPT client on DOS. I think some of you may know already what's that. So obviously I will show that and I will show Doom also. Okay, so because Doom is a very common question, can this thing run Doom? So of course I will demo that. Okay, so let me, uh, let me show this. Okay, so this one over here, right? Oh, is it quite dim? Okay, but it's still visible, right? Can still see, right? It's a bit dim. Okay, so this is an issue also with this device. The VGA output is quite dim. But it's still, still okay. Okay, so this one here, you can see I'm streaming the VGA output to a HDMI capture card, and then I'm displaying OBS up here. Okay, so you can see it's running DOS 6.22 right now. Okay. So let me run the my application here. Welcome to Function GPT Player. Uh, I have no speaker, so I have to rely on my laptop speaker. Okay, so let's... Do hi, I hope this thing works. I hope it works. Hello, how can I assist you today? <laughs> yeah, can write. What question you ask? Say GPT. <laughs> okay, I never mind. I say tell. Sorry? <laughs> I think you can't answer modern questions, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. That, that can. What is? See, I'm using the keyboard here. Very hard to type. Uh. Dress of. Oh, okay. The, the screen is very deep. It's hard to see. R E S S. <laughs> hey, where? Singapore. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see. I, I don't know what will come out. <laughs> I think space. Yeah, maybe I have to space. Oh, no sound. Huh? I think the sound is gone. What? Okay, I think never mind. I think the given the time shortage, I think the 10 minutes. Let me escape. I go to Zoom. Doom. I think Zoom is more interesting, right? <laughs> okay, let me exit. Okay, let me go to Doom. That doesn't need to. Yeah. Apparently it can, but it's not that uh, good performance. Uh. Yeah. It's a bit laggy, uh, you can see. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, can okay. I it's reduce already, you can see. Oh, it's very deep, man. <laughs> okay, let me just, just play a bit. Lah. You can see. Okay, let me just shoot some monsters. Lah. It's, it's very laggy. Lah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I 
Nah, I skip this guy. I don't care this idea. Just, just run for the exit. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> Just run for the exit. Only kill fifty percent of enemies. Okay. Can, yeah. So can he run Doom? Uh, yes, he can. Uh. You can see. Not that good performance, but you got. Okay. So let me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay, just a basic additional tip there before I end now. So uh the device comes with Windows 95 by, by default, but please don't try to use Windows 95 on it. It is very, very slow. Yeah. And then uh, the battery life is quite weak. About one to one and a half hours, the low battery warning will come on, and a few minutes after that, the whole device will just die. You just switch off. Okay, it gets very hot. Uh, because there's no heat sink, there's no vents at all. Yeah, so yeah, again, when it gets hot, it's very uncomfortable to use. Okay, the battery drain can exceed the charging speed. <laughs> you can plug to the charger and then you play, right? And then you still can have no battery warning. Uh. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, okay, in the end, it's also easily repairable. So it's actually there's no all the screws are easily it's all normal Phillips across here. Uh. It's no unique screws. Uh. So if any issue, just open it up and then you can fix it. So not a problem. Okay. So yeah, so that, that comes to the end of my talk, 10 minutes. Okay, in the I'll leave my setup here. So at the end, right, y'all can come uh, at the end of all the talks. Uh, y'all come and play. Okay. okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a PS2 mouse port. Yeah, but, but I forget that. But if you're like, oh, there's no, there's no trackpad. There's no uh, pointing device. Yeah.